it's obviously, you know, it's all the horse to come here and win, but so much more for Holly Doyle. I'm really sorry we have to start with that because it's a historic moment. No, I, I, think, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, the owner breeder, Imanol Sagar, said to me two or three years ago, uh, I've got two or three jockeys I'm looking at, I want to retain a jockey. And, uh, and he showed me the list and I said, Holly Doyle. And I know other people who back me on that. She's uh, hugely talented, horses run for her. Very, very meticulous, incredibly hardworking. And she has, you know, she analyzes things properly. We walked the course, talked about the race. The race didn't unfold how we thought, but we did have the plan B to stay forward in that curve. And she's shown herself as a class rider and the filly as a class two. Alors, euh, j'ai posé la question à M. Gossman, euh, il fallait bien sûr euh, parler tout de suite de Holly Doyle, et il disait que euh, il y a 3-4 ans, j'ai parlé avec l'éleveur propriétaire qui m'avait demandé de, de, euh, qu'il voulait mettre sous contrat un jockey, et j'ai regardé la liste et j'ai tout de suite dit Holly Doyle. C'est une femme très euh, talentueuse, euh, les, les chevaux courent pour elle. Elle travaille beaucoup, elle est très méticuleuse dans son travail et elle, a, elle est aussi, elle fait des, des analyses. Et ici, dans cette course, justement, la course ne s'est pas déroulée comme on a voulu et elle a, elle a démontré qu'elle est, qu est vraiment un, un jockey de, 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 de classe. Et John, quand tu dis que la course n'a pas été vraiment comme on l'a voulu, can you talk us through it a little bit? Well, Obviously, here the draw makes a difference, and if you're wide, it's it's a disadvantage. It's it's a it's, it's a problem uh, for anyone drawn wide. And if you're a good draw, you've got to hold your position. So the idea was to go forward, hold our position, stay one off the rail. But we were, it was slightly strange that no one then went on and took it strongly. Obviously, in England and Ireland, that someone would have gone up in front, but they didn't. Uh, and to that extent, we were probably where we didn't intend to be. But Holly did the right, exactly the right thing. They held the position, relaxed beautifully around the turn, and then waited in a straight. And then she and Olivier kicked together to, to, to make it an exciting race between them. And I think if they had kicked earlier, uh, I'm very clear that Yukata, beautifully trained by my friend Jean Claude, would, would have got us. And I think the fact that they just waited that little bit of time made the difference. And she, she's a very high class filly. And, and, and was quite beautifully written in, in, in a race that is not an easy track to ride, Jean-Pierre, a long shot. And our tracks are a little more convention. J'ai posé la question, alors il disait que la course n'était pas déroulée comme il avait pensé. Donc, en fait, ici, la position à la corde et le numéro à la corde est très important. Et en fait, quand on vient de l'extérieur, nous, on pensait que quelqu'un allait devant et personne n'est personne allé devant. Donc, on était obligé de rester où, où on était. Et Oli, elle, elle a tout fait bien parce que quand elle était dans le, dans le tournant, elle a, elle, elle a détendu la police. Et puis, elle a, elle a démarré au moment avec Olivier. Et, mais elle a, elle, a fait, elle a réalisé une course de, de grande classe. Um, John, after, after this, What, what is it? I mean, you as a trainer, you have won so many big races and so many important races, and we've come out of after. But you know, are you proud yourself that we've got the first woman to win a French Classic? Very proud, and, and it's Bailey is extremely proud because it's the youth team who are obviously taking over here. So it's quite obvious that I will. I'll be superb as the farmers <laughs> spike soon with the youthful Holly Bailey and. Look, it's, it's, it's great, it's very exciting. Uh, she's a very classic billion, was beautifully written by a huge and talented rider. You could ask for no more. So, Thady and I are over the moon, and Mr. El Sagar is staying tonight in Paris. So, it'll be a jolly restaurant if you join us there. <laughs> je suis très, très fière euh, de, que je fais partie de, de, de cette équipe. Et justement, euh, c'est les jeunes qui, qui arrivent sur le, sur le plan là avec euh, Holly, avec. Euh, Teddy, mon fils, et euh, donc euh, très très fier. Holly, many congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> What does it feel like to win this French Classic, to become the first woman in France to win a French Classic? Uh, it feels pretty good. I, just put enough my, I couldn't find the word to describe it really, but um, I've, I've got a lot of people to thank, you know, in Madame Sagar. I, I don't know if I would 
ever have been in a position like I am today because of him giving me an opportunity like this. Um, you know, that of course is a hard to come upon and I'm only 25, so relatively early on in my career, so I feel pretty lucky. Um, J'ai demandé qu'est-ce que ça représentait pour elle. Je ne peux pas trouver des mots euh, pour vraiment décrire ce que ça représente pour moi. Je ne peux que remercier euh, en fait, M. Altaga qui, qui m'a donné cette opportunité. J'en suis bien consciente que j'ai que 25 ans et des, des chevaux comme ça n'arrivent pas tout le temps euh, aussi vite. Euh, donc, euh, euh, we, we just discussed the race. It didn't really go as we, as we thought it might go. In the end, I have to say, I had the impression you were throwing the kitchen sink at that horse. You could see the other one coming, couldn't you? I mean, it was, where, you, where did you think you had it within reach? And then were you, were you panicked? Um, I felt very vulnerable at the two pole, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it was a muddling race. I felt like I thought beforehand someone would be a bit more decisive um, pace-wise than they were. I uh, didn't want to be really where I was, but she was very relaxed and happy to be one off the rail with a bit of company either side. Um, she's versatile and responsive when needs be. Um, half fell out when the second horse came to my girth. She really dug deep and um, it was great to see. Um, alors, j'ai posé la question uh, uh, si elle avait un moment de panique et, et, et elle dit, uh, en fait, j'avoue uh, que j'étais vulnérable uh, à 400 mètres du poteau d'arrivée. Euh, je pensais que plutôt euh, que quelqu'un allait euh, imposer un train euh, plus, plus euh, sélectif et ça ne s'est pas passé comme ça, mais on était euh, assez content euh, dans la position où on était euh, près de la corde. Et la, bouche, la pouliche, elle a, elle a démontré qu'elle est vraiment très euh, polyvalente. Et euh, pour finir, euh, bien évidemment l'autre qui, qui venait, mais elle a vraiment posé euh, pour, euh, pour bien finir. Holly, um, what did your husband say to you? It's just, I think he was just as happy as I was, to be honest. Um, we're always pretty happy for each other. So I think he was delighted and just as relieved as me, really. Alors, j'ai demandé ce que son mari, comme Marquand Daniel, a dit et puis elle dit qu'il était heureux pour elle, qu'il est toujours heureux pour elle quand elle gagne une course. Mais, Holly, were you confident before the race? Did you go in there thinking that you could win it? Yeah, definitely. I, I was fairly confident um, off the back of Epsom. We thought that step back and trip is what she needs, and um, it's proven to be the answer, really. And, you know, she's from day one, she um, retains a lot of class, and I think she could be even better next year. We like that, but it's positive. I asked if she was confident before the race. Oui, bien sûr, euh, après Epsom, on pensait qu'un retour euh, sur la distance de 2000 mètres allait lui convenir. Et effectivement, euh, euh, elle, 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 elle a fait ce que, que j'attendais d'elle. Um, do we have any questions here? Or uh, Scott? I don't know if there's a mic. Do you? There's none. Take that. Uh, I have one for each of Johnny Wittenstock. Horrible question. She's just wrong. Races in 67 weeks, two classics. Where do you see her season up? This city, yeah, I, I would have thought a freshen up. Um, I, I think we run her in two oaks and it's, it's, it's tough on her. But she seemed remarkably calm after the race with what I call a very natural, normal blow. Um, I was thrilled that the owner flew her over with the heat and the problems with customs now due to Brexit. Um, and so from that point of view, I think freshen her up and then we'll look towards the program. I mean, if you're talking about France, one race that stands out is Big Lot. I mean, I think if we make that our big target and then come back from there would be the way to play it. I think she definitely deserves a freshen up and a, what we call the old summer holiday. Can I, can I just translate that? Sorry. Um, I will take this one. Euh, quand il avait demandé euh, le programme pour la Pouliche euh, qui a couru euh, trois fois en six semaines. Euh, oui, effectivement, elle a, elle a, elle a beaucoup couru. Elle a, elle a eu deux courses euh, difficiles et on va lui donner une pause, euh, ce qu'on appelle chez nous le, la pause d'été. Euh, mais elle était très calme après la course et je remercie le propriétaire, M. Alcard, qui, qui l'a fait, euh, euh, fait voyager en avion 
dans cette, euh, à cette période de chaleur. Et euh, on, on va, le, le but de cette année, c'est qu'on va peut-être euh, s'orienter vers le prix de l'opéra. Et puis, euh, mais d'abord, elle a une pause. Yeah, I mean, if he said to me two or even three years ago that I'd be riding the classics on Mr. Colston and when I was the guy, I'd have laughed at you. So when um, he's been in this position, incredible. And, you know, when you ride at this level, the trainers done all they can, the owners put you in this position. So it's, it's down to me on the day, isn't it? So, um, I mean, I just expect a lot from myself and I don't want to let people down. So you have to prepare yourself to get your best when given the opportunity. And that's what I try and do. I'll answer about the pressure. Um, we soon to hit some major thunderstorms across the channel. And I can assure you that the pressure we're looking at Holly, she was bouncing around in the back with Tom, being a bit more critical mass. I wasn't bouncing around so much, but we've been thrown like corks. I think that was the most pressureful part of the day, quite frankly. <laughs> 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 um, just to respond, is that Holly is under pressure for the grand course like that? Et elle disait, euh, euh, il y a deux ou trois ans, si vous m'aviez dit que j'allais monter des cours classiques au Monsieur Bolton ou pour ce propriétaire, euh, j'aurais rigolé. Euh, et je trouve toujours, comme les entraîneurs, ils font tout ce qu'ils peuvent. Euh, moi, euh, je, je veux aussi lui donner le, le, le meilleur. Et euh, je suis très dure avec moi-même. Moi je, je fais toujours tout, je donne toujours tout. Et euh, Monsieur Bolton, il répondait, euh, alors, la, en, en parlant de la pression ce matin, ils étaient dans un avion euh, et il y avait des tomates. Et euh, en fait, la, la pression ce matin, c'était la pauvre Oli. Elle s'est envolée dans l'avion euh, avec son mari. Donc, ça, c'était la pression. Do we have any other questions? Yeah, Ali? Oui. Sorry for my English. <laughs> right. Um, question is, are you superstitious? Because <laughs> apparently when you used to come here, um, when, when we had the art here and everything, you were the old... Yes. <laughs> it's my favourite stand. I was being tormented by cameras when a neighbour was favourite here yes. in 2017. And I said to the thing, come on, we'll get away. And that stand's been going to be renovated, sealed off, building. And I managed to push the gate, cut my hand, slip through, and I thought, I've got away with the canvas. And I sat with Bailey on my own watching a naval wind, and I was trying to get in there again. I thought, you're getting a bit old to be caught breaking and entering. <laughs> so I didn't, I went, they let me into the Chardin. They didn't let me first. I went to Chardin and watched it on the rail. Yeah. So, but I do like that stand. It's where all the trainers used to go in the old days. Yeah. Donc, alors, pour répondre à la question, oui, euh, quand, quand j'étais ici avec Annabel, avec Teddy, j'avais réussi à, à, à aller sur, euh, sur les tribunes. Et elle a dit, mais là, je suis trop vieux. On m'a donné un, un petit bracelet pour aller dans le jardin, mais euh, cette, euh, cette tribune, elle me manque quand même. OK. Um, oh, it's got to change and we've got to slot. Yes. The uh, in that case, I will, I will tell you, have a great party, whatever you're going to do. Many congratulations. Thank you. Fabulous. No, she's riding at Windsor tomorrow, no party. <laughs> 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 <laughs>